Is Bitcoin mining still being done? Yes, of course it is. So guys, every 10 minutes, more or less on average, um, a new block is formed on the blockchain. New Bitcoin comes into existence. But let me show you something. Every four years, the amount that gets mined gets cut in half. So think of this. Its issuance schedule is already set all the way to the year 2140. There will only ever be slightly less than 21 million ever in the history of life. And we already know when the last little dust of Bitcoin is mined. Each, every four years, the amount that can be mined gets cut in half. And the next four years gets cut in half. And the next four years gets cut in half. This is Bitcoin's issuance schedule. Now look all the way to the left. Look at the red line. This is where, where when 100% of all Bitcoin was available for mining in 2009. Look at how as we progress, the amount available gets less and less and less now look at 2022 look at where we are 2022 it's almost nothing already this is insane this is the only asset in the world that's deflationary not inflationary you can't make more of it everything else you can make more of it you can make more shares of a stock you can make more dollars you understand you can make more buildings you can make more property, just build a taller building with more apartments in it. You can make more of every single asset on planet Earth except Bitcoin. It's the first asset to ever be provably scarce and provably finite. Do you know that there's no other asset on Earth that is finite? Gold is not finite. We haven't even started digging in the, on the ocean bed floors. And there's zillions of tons of gold in the, in, the, in, the, in the ocean floors. It's not finite. There's only one thing finite in the entire world. One thing. Well, there's two things that's finite. Your time on earth, my time on earth, and Bitcoin, which is tied to time. It comes into existence. A little bit comes into existence now every 10 minutes. It's tied to time. The two scarcest things on earth, Bitcoin and time. No asset does this, guys. Look at the, look at the, look at the Bitcoin supply. Look at, look at where we are in that arc. It's already flattening. By the year 2032, only dust is going to be mined, like gold dust, dust, so tiny, a tiny bit. And so where are people going to get Bitcoin from? They're going to have to get it from the market, which is going to drive the price into the millions and millions and millions. It's just not available. Every market works like this. Limited supply. Growing demand explodes the price. Let me, let me, let me, let me, re let me repeat that, guys. I'm going to repeat this again. Limited supply. You saw the issue. Limited supply. Right? 1.5% of the world now has Bitcoin. Limited supply. Rising demand. 1.5% goes to 2%. Price explodes. 5% price explodes. 10% of the world price explodes. 20% of the world price explodes. This is a mathematical fact. The only thing that can prevent it is if the demand does not go up. And let me tell you this, that 1.5% number, that's not going down. One point when the, when the internet had 1.5% of the world using it, that number didn't go down. The world had 1.5% of the world 
adopted Bitcoin by the year 1996. 1996, 1.5% of the world was using the internet. We saw what happened. We've seen this movie before. We've seen what network effects do. We saw that number go from 1.5% to practically 80 plus percent of the world. All right, in a short period of time. Now, the internet, guys, listen to me carefully. The internet was growing at a faster rate than any other technology before it, ever in the history of the world. It was the fastest adopted technology ever in the history of mankind. It was growing at about 64% a year. Every year, 64% growth, 64% growth, 64% growth. Well, the internet is no longer the king of adoption. Guess what the king of adoption is? Bitcoin. Bitcoin is growing at 113% a year. It's almost doubling the fastest growing technology ever known, the internet. Now Bitcoin is the fastest adopted network technology in the history of mankind. So we're growing at 113% a year and the supply keeps getting less and less and less and no one can change it no one can alter it for a thousand for thousands and thousands of years guys this is the beginning it's the beginning of a brand new system a brand new monetary base layer of value for the entire world it is going to suck everything in, in into itself even even the skeptics are going to adopt this. The people who hate Bitcoin are going to adopt it. Think about it. Think about it. There were people who hated the internet. There were people who called the internet a fad. But those very same people use the internet in their daily lives every single day today. It's not a matter of when in my, it's not a matter of if in my opinion, it's just a question of when. And, I, and that when is happening really fast, 113% adoption a year. That's freaking insane, guys, that's insane. This is the deflation, this is Bitcoin's deflationary picture. Take a look at this, take a look at this. I showed this in the presentation the other day. Look at the blue, look at the yearly issuance of a, a Bitcoin. Look at the blue just drop every four years. The blue is the new Bitcoin coming and being mined. Every four years, it drops. By 2032, it's practically nothing. Look at the yellow line. That's demand. That's adoption. That's the growth of the adoption of Bitcoin. This is going to, it's, well, it's already been exploding the price. It is going to continue to explode the price. And so just looking at these things, you should understand why no asset has ever performed the way Bitcoin has performed. Bitcoin has outperformed every asset on planet Earth over every time frame, practically over the past two years, over the past three years, over the past five years, over the past 10 years, over the past 13 years. Second place is not even close to Bitcoin. Second place is the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is the second most, um, the second uh, best performing asset on planet Earth over the past 10 years. Check this out. You know that? So the NASDAQ over the past 10 years has delivered 16.1% annualized, 16.1%. Now, just to give you a general idea of how big that is, Warren Buffett became the most popular investor we, we know, and he's become the wealthiest investor we know, and his annualized gain over the past 38 years or so is 15%. That's it, 15%. That's his annualized gain over 38 years, 
made him the wealthiest investor on earth. The NASDAQ produced 16.1% over the past 10 years. That's freaking amazing. All right? A Bitcoin's annualized return is like 124%. 16, 124. Second place is not, e is not even in the same galaxy. We've never seen anything like this before, guys. Now, what we have seen is this. This is, this is Bitcoin's deflationary. This is Bitcoin's deflationary picture. And this is another reason why Bitcoin will go up for the rest of your life. Check this out. That's what almost every other asset does. This is the M3 money supply. This is printing new dollars, which debases every other existing dollar in existence. Your dollars go down in value at a rate right now of about 15% over the past two years at a rate of about 25%. But your dollars go down. Every new dollar that's printed debases the value of all existing dollars that were printed before. And so, this is what makes all assets basically inflationary. Every asset in the world is inflationary. It is not deflationary. Bitcoin's the opposite. Inflationary. Deflationary. The only asset in the world that's deflationary. It's powerful, guys. It's powerful.